shooting thousands of photos for a time lapse is only half the story. Now you need to edit them and share the time lapse with the rest of the world. It's now time to use your computer. My favorite editing software is Final Cut Pro 10. The principles are the same whichever software you use. You essentially need to compile all those thousands of pics together and make them into a movie. The duration of each pic is one frame long. Yes, you heard me correctly. Each pic is one frame long. Combine 25 pics to get one second of video. Go to your finder and select a hard disk where you plan to store all your files, music, videos, photos, libraries and such. Create a new folder. I'll call mine Time Lapse Folder. Inside this folder, I want to create another folder called Time Lapse Pics. This is where all my time lapse shots will go. Insert the memory card from your camera. It should show up on your desktop in your finder. Navigate to your memory card and look for your pics. Open the DCIM folder. Open this folder, 100 MS DCF, and you'll find all your time lapse pictures. Select all of them by pressing Command A, and with all of your pics selected, copy them onto your hard disk by clicking and dragging them to your time lapse pics folder. Once the copy process is completed, you can remove your memory card and use it for another project. And now it's time to launch Final Cut Pro 10. Don't be intimidated by Final Cut Pro 10. It's actually a very friendly program once you get it. Just like strangers who eventually become your good friends once you get to know each other. I'll show you the quickest, most efficient way to edit out a time-lapse video with my special top secret formula. I'm going to breeze through the simple parts like creating a new library and all that. If you're not familiar with Final Cut Pro 10, I have a bunch of very easy to follow tutorials which you can check out. The link I'll put right here. With Final Cut Pro 10 already started up, I will create a new library. Go to File menu, New Library. I will put my new library where I had my time-lapse folder. I will call my library time-lapse edits. I'll just put that there. And now Final Cut Pro has also created for me an event folder, but I'll choose to call this projects. Now my project event folder is where I'll store all my timelines, also known as projects in Final Cut Pro 10. So I'll create a new project or storyline right now. I'll go to my file menu, new project. I will create a project out of the most popular resolution, which is 1080p. And I will call this time lapse edit one. I will click OK. That's done. Now I will make a new event, file new event. And in this new event folder, I will call this PIX. And this is where I will import all my time-lapse pics that I shot on location. So that's done. Now instead of the normal workflow of importing all my pictures by clicking on the import media icon, remember how I said I will show you how to edit out a time-lapse video in the quickest, most efficient way possible? Well, that starts right here, right now. Right. So instead of the usual workflow, I will go down to my dock and go to my finder. Now in my finder, I have my time-lapse pics folder. What I'll do is I will open up my folder and I will select all my time-lapse pictures. I have a total of 1,642. So I will select all of them by pressing Command A. With all my photos selected, I will click, hold down my mouse button and drag it onto my event folder. Once it's there, I let go. And now Final Cut Pro 10 is preparing to import all my photos from the time lapse that I shot earlier. So you've shot tons of images, but what if you shot your time lapse as a movie file? No problems, that's still very easy. 
Insert your memory card and I'll teach you where to locate your movie files. Open up your memory cards on the desktop and then go over to the private folder. Open up the Sony folder and open up your apps time-lapse folder. In there, you'll see folders that look like this with a sequence of numbers as its name. Open that up. There you go. You have all your movie files over here in AVI format. So when I click and play it, so this is an AVI video file which you can directly import into Final Cut Pro 10 and do your color grading right away. Once that's done, here's part of the secret. By default, all still images in Final Cut Pro 10 are given a duration of 3 seconds. To make them play back as a smooth time-lapse video, I'll need each peak to be one frame long. So I'm going to give all of my peaks a duration of one frame, not one second, but one frame. I'll select all of my peaks by pressing Command A, Command A. With all of the peaks selected, be careful not to disturb anything else. Press Ctrl D. That will highlight this portion of the background task display. Make sure you don't touch anything else. Final Cut Pro 10 is prompting you to enter a duration for the files you just selected. I'll type 1 and press Enter. Final Cut Pro 10 will now make all your time-lapse shots one frame long. Okay, so who remembers how many frames does it take to make a one second video? If your answer is 25 frames, you're correct. But in the US, that number is 30 frames, makes one second of video. Cutting a long story short, the next step is deceivingly simple. Are you ready? Just press W and voila! All your time lapse shot will end up in your storyline. And you can just start playing your time lapse to see how good it looks. Very quick, very efficient way to edit a time lapse. Just before we begin sharing our time lapse, I need to make a little adjustment. Now, have a look at the sides of my screen over here. I have two black bars. This is because my photos are not fitting into my 1080p project. They're a little bit smaller, so what I want to do is to fit my photo into the 1080p project by scaling them up. So what I'll do is I will go back to my timeline over here. I'll press Command A to select all the pictures on the timeline. And then I'll go down to scale. Now I'll input a figure. I guess 125% ought to do it. There we go, now everything is perfect. I have my pictures fitting snugly into my 1080p project. Okay, now we're free to share the time-lapse with the rest of the world. To share, go down to the sharing icon over here, click on it. Okay, now we can select a few options here. Um, if you're unsure what to pick, do follow the tutorial that I have on basic video editing with Final Cut Pro 10. Otherwise, I'll just show you something simple. Um, I'll click on Add Destination. Right, there are lots of options over here you can select from, including sharing directly to YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo. But for this purpose, let's select Export File. I'll double click here. Okay, once Export File is part of your presets, I will choose something simple. Um, let's select Apple devices. Okay, now uh, the video codec should be something that is, well, let's go for quality. So I'll select H.264, better quality. All right, resolution we can change. Maybe you like to export a smaller size video so that it is faster and maybe it can play back on slower computers, but you can go for the full 1920 by 1080 uh, project. Okay, let's try that. Open with, of course, it's going to be a quick time player. And when we're done, we can close this. So that will be a template, an export template or a sharing template. So the next time you go down to your sharing icon over here, you can say export file and it will open up with the presets you've just made. Okay, here we go. And then I'll click next and a new time-lapse video will be coming up shortly. I'll save it. 
I'll save it into the same folder that I created all my edits and my where my pics are located. So I'll just click save. It's preparing for sharing. And then you'll notice your background task will be busy over here. I'll click on this and you can see that sharing is going on. So once this is completed, you can play back your time lapse and watch it in all its full HD glory. Congratulations! You've just completed a time lapse video edit. My time lapse is ready and it's playing right in front of me on my desktop. I can see a beautiful sunrise happening right in front of me. But I noticed that the cloud formations are a little bit slow and the entire time lapse would look much better if my time lapse was faster and the time and the cloud formations happen faster. So how do I speed up my time lapse video? For that, let's go back to Final Cut Pro 10. What I'd like to do is to speed up my time lapse. Now to do that, I'd like to combine all of my clips into a single clip called a compound clip. The first step is to select all the clips on my timeline. I'll press Command A and then I'll go to my file menu, click on it, go to new and I'll select compound clip. I'd like to rename my clip as time lapse compound. I'll click OK. All the individual clips that form my time lapse will now become a single clip like this. Next, I'm going to speed it up and to speed up my clip, I will go to my retime icon over here. I'll select this and I'll go to fast. I'll speed it up eight times. So I'll select eight times. When the retime has been done, notice that the clip is now much shorter because we've sped it up. But before we share this time lapse out, let's do a little bit of tweaking on the colors. Um, let's increase a little bit of the saturation. To do that, let's press Command 6 to bring out the color board. Okay, now let's go to the saturation and let's increase the global saturation, increase a little bit of the shadows, the mid-tones and a lot of the highlight saturation. And then let's go to the color and I'd like to bring a bit of warmth to the overall image. But in terms of the highlights, I'd like to make it a little bit more blue. And the mid-tones, I'd like to make it a little bit warm. A little bit warm. The shadows, I'd like to make it a little bit more blue. A little bit blue. Okay. Maybe the global, i increase the warmness of it. Okay, now we're done. Let's play back roughly and see how it looks like. Wow, look at the saturation. This is great. I didn't need to saturate it that much actually because the camera has done such a good job with the colors. Let's have a look at the sunrise. Now let's turn off the effects and turn it back on. Pretty good. Okay, now let me share this with the same template I used earlier over here called export file. That was the default name. So I'm going to export my file right now and I'm going to play it back and show you What's the difference between a sped up time lapse and one that is playing back at normal speed? With the two little tweaks I added, you can now see that this new version has a more epic feel to it with more dynamic cloud formations and a vibrant, gorgeous sunrise. Congratulations, you now know how to edit time lapse videos.